Hello guys, um, good morning. So, here in my prana is a two egg that my leghorns lay for, uh, yesterday is, this one is laid yesterday, while this one is laid, laid last day, maybe three days ago. And no, maybe four days ago now. It is four days late from the time that my leghorn laid, and this one is uh, laid yesterday. I was very surprised guys. Um, I, I already told you that uh, my leghorn are laying egg the first time that I bought this tree and one of them is the blind which is not doing well while the two is uh, still doing well and the first time that I bought that tree leghorns they are very fat they are be very healthy because they are you know guys uh, they came from a egg egg farm which um, the it well and uh, the they are the paid ad libitum which is uh, giving uh, some animals uh, overfeeding no that is, sounds overfeeding it's just like you give uh, so much food and you let uh, that animals eat uh, until their stomach is fully is full so here guys in my prank um, yesterday this morning, my uh, my sister-in-law uh, told me that, hey, your your chicken, your legion, are lay egg yesterday under my plants, my zizi plants, which is we call her we call her in the Philippines as a welcome plant. So I'm just happy, guys. And last month, a month ago, maybe I don't I don't really remember. Maybe a three months ago now three or four months ago maybe oh uh, no maybe three months ago or two months ago two and a half months i don't have the exact time uh of date where of uh, where uh, when i purchased the three leg horns but uh the time that i purchased uh those th those leg horns i start meeting uh, let them to be mated by my uh, brother rooster chicken uh, what we call it here is a texas chicken or a game ball chicken that is used for for sabong for game ball and uh, they will already one one of my leghorn is the one who first laid egg for about a week and I maybe I got five eggs from that and then in the other week uh, the another uh, one is also laying an egg so guys I just want to uh, share to you that uh, this is really important that you have a rooster with your mama hen so that uh, you got a fertile egg no not just for the fertile egg but uh, it helps to push your mama hen to lay an egg uh, even though they are not overfeed or they're not uh, they don't have a fully stomach because uh, sorry I would just forget to tell you that I now raising my leghorns free range which I let them to get food anywhere around our house uh, leftover anything that it sounds insects um, vegetable scrap and they're doing well this scrap or something for insects in our in our prone yard that also my uh, brother raised uh, game ball chicken so you guys that you can see here okay I will going to show you here see this one is dirty it's still dirty <laughs> um, because this one is lay under the soil no under this not under the soil but in the soil well, this one here is, aray, is lay, lay uh, under the tricycle. Tricycle is uh, the one that we use for our transportation here in the Philippines. Um, you know, guys, you know that the tricycle isn't a car; it's a motor tri motorcycle, motorcycle with sidecar. <laughs> so, guys, today, uh, let's go. I will going to show you what I'm talking about. Where about the, the plant uh, what is under the plants okay 
where this egg was laid by my chicken and also I'm going to show you my chicken so here is my three chicken guys as you can see uh, this is a blind one as you can see her, is her eyes the one side is blind while this two is the one who laid egg the first time the first who laid egg when I bought this tree well this one is the one who lay egg yesterday and last time uh, they already gave me uh, maybe 10 to 11 egg maybe 15 um, so she can see she's not fat but you it's look like she's uh, she's really healthy and she lay an egg and this chicken was mated by this chicken a gumball chicken a rooster with some other chicken of my brother okay i will going to show you. here is the other one and a rooster and the two rooster here you see and this one here so many rooster and there's another one here and this is the plant that i was uh, telling you a zizi plants a poisonous when you eat because uh, their leaves is very acidic maybe and also poisonous and it, it can burn your mouth and your tongue under here as you can see there's space here and here this is uh, where my legon lay is one egg as you can see there's a soil here and because it is a, uh, still a soil you see that the egg is uh, has have a have a dirt guys see So guys, thanks for watching. But before that, I just want to uh, to say that you must have a rooster with your hand so that uh, they are pushing by the rooster to uh, pro uh, to produce an egg inside their body by mating. Uh, because I observe, uh, yes, much can lay an egg. Uh, maybe they can lay egg without without a male rooster or rooster but it not makes sense to me because here in the Philippines we can raise a uh, chicken as long as we can still get give him food enough and I don't want to spend so much feeds on my chicken because I just want to produce uh, healthy eggs that is one that's the first first purpose why I, I bought and trying to care a leghorn because leghorn is used only for egg pro uh, production uh, they are not uh, i don't i see on you uh, on youtube that leghorn can go fruity but i do not really expect that they go fruity i already have brown star or the red star last time and they, he did she did not go fruity she just simply lay egg, lay in a lay egg. So guys, if you just want to uh, lessen the expenses that you given on your chicken, try to uh, let them free, uh, free range, freely, scrap or something, and uh, having fun with rooster, or mate, let uh, your chick your um, female chicken to be mated by your rooster or try if you don't have try to buy one for uh, for three or five mama hen is is enough uh, by this way you're trying to lessen your expense because we know that uh, layer chickens can lay egg by overfeeding by that they can lay an egg which is not fertile uh, fertile so guys uh, thanks for watching guys kung gusto mo ng itlog na ganito Ang gagawin nyo lang, bumili kayo ng layers o yung mga, nang itlo, uh, yung mga ginagamit lang para sa itlog. Tapos bumili kayo ng lalaking manok. Uh, 
Tapos para yun, para yung taga-asawa. Kasi guys, kung naisip nyo ba, ako, hindi ko maisip na mangingitlo sila ng basta ang kinakailan nila is kung ano-anong meron kami dito sa likod ng ba- sa aming bahay. So, nangitlog siya dahil nga may lalaki. So, may may nagpupush na mag-produce yung babae ng egg sa katawan uh, sa, sa tuwing ma- makaasawahan siya ng lalaking manok. So, ayun guys. Kaya kayo, kung gusto nyo ng uh, supply ng egg ng uh, ng tuloy-tuloy na supply ng egg, bumili kayo ng mga le- leghorn tsaka yung mga brown yung mga cubs na nangitlog ng tuloy-tuloy din. Tapos bumili kayo ng panabong na lalaki or anumang klase ng manok na lalaki na, ma- na mabili mo para naman may supply ka ng itlog. Tatlong manok pwede na. Is enough. Three to four is is enough for you guys. So, thanks for watching guys. Hoping that you enjoy my videos. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.